The past several years have been very exciting in the exploration of other planets. NASA, the United States government space agency, has spent many, many spaceships into space, and three of the ships that it has sent recently have been rovers or remote control cars that are exploring the surface of Mars. Someday, scientists believe we might even be able to colonize Mars if Mars has the things that living things need to live. If Mars has some of the things that living things need to survive, what things will humans need to bring to Mars to assure that living things can survive for a long time? And everything looks looks good, really. Scientists have found that Mars's atmosphere has carbon dioxide, one of the things that plants need to live. Congratulations, everybody. It looks like uh, we've got some nice new images uh, to look at on the surface, and uh, great job. And maybe trees can turn that carbon dioxide into oxygen, maybe, just maybe, Mars might be a place for humans to live. We're flying in towards Mount Sharp, located in the center of Gale Crater on Mars. Humans will probably need lots of trees, and lots of trees that can survive for years and years and years, and will produce many, many, many more, even after the original trees die. We're going to be seeing some of the terrains that Curiosity has been exploring. So now you be the scientist. You be the one that is determining which trees get to go to Mars. Should the scientists bring holly trees? ...terrain that was safe, and you can see how it's flatter. We landed right in the middle of that. Should scientists bring maple trees? Now in late 2013, Curiosity is driving her way through this terrain. And it's kind of Should scientists bring oak trees? Squirrels in Boston are fat. Yeah, or maybe because there's lots of food. Yeah. On the left, we also have a field of dark colored sand dunes, and we're trying to find a place where there's a gap in the sand dunes because we don't feel it's safe to cross over the sand dunes with the rover. We'd rather do it on hard rock. We would guess that sometime towards the middle of 2014, we will arrive. Should scientists bring palm trees? It's a place that's special to us because it represents interesting geology, and the topography is also interesting. Which trees do you think the scientists should bring, and what information do you need to know to decide what will be the best trees to live for a long, long time and have many, many more babies on the planet Mars? You can see that sort of valley that goes through the middle of them there. And that's where Curiosity will wend her way through this rough terrain, we hope making interesting discoveries and most importantly, signifying the transition between the first half of the mission, which was exploring the planes we landed on, and the second half of the mission, which is exploring the flank and climbing up Mount Sharp.